Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure. It's my honor. Always being out here, well connected with nature, and bring to you this message of emancipation, whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is why today I want to speak to you concerning the Tower of Babel and what it really means to me. Okay, but before I go any further, I have to let you know the basis of my teachings. Okay, I teach that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. For the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history. And the Bible has no reference to anyone who existed thousands of years ago or to any actual event that would have taken place on earth thousands of years ago. So from the beginning to the ending of the Bible, it's all a great psychological jamma, and it all have to do with the human psyche. So if you are someone who believes in the Bible, one of the very first things you must know is that the Bible was written symbolically. Okay? Now, let's dive a little bit deeper and look at the Tower of Babel. Now, I'm going to show you this truth from two angles, two sides, because there is always the law of polarity. Everything has its opposite. And in the Tower of Babel and the language, it is showing you also the law of polarity. Okay? So let us look first on the outer side of it, or uh, what most Christians would interpret as literal and as secular history. Now, if it was a physical or literal building that they were putting together to reach right up into the heavens, common sense would teach you that when you reach a certain place into the atmosphere, that you would not be able to breathe in this kind of oxygen that we are breathing in right now and give off that kind of carbon dioxide and also when you reach certain place way up in space, the whole gravity pull would be different. Okay, because we see when people go up in space shuttle and so on, they, they are floating around in space. Okay, so let us look at it from another angle, which is from a psychological angle. Now, just as you would see a tower being built on a mountain or a high place. So too you must realize that your tower is up here. This is your highest peak. This is the building that you must construct to reach to heaven, to contact your God self, your higher self. So my brother, my sisters, when you have definiteness, definiteness of purpose, or single, singleness, single-mindedness of purpose, dwelling in the realm our energy of love, you are in oneness. You have found that plane where you want to build your tower to be connected, to have the right concept of self. So just as we will look on the outside and see that there is a great communication civilization it is teaching you of an inner communication civilization that will link you to your higher self. That would link you to discover that the creator in man is man's imagination. But when you do not have definiteness of purpose and you are not well focused and concentrated on what you want, and you allow yourself to become double-minded. This is you slipping into that place of confusion. 
And remember that God in man is man's imagination. And remember I would have mentioned earlier the law of polarity. So you can be double-minded or you can be single-minded. You can use your thoughts and your emotion and it will create your reality consciously. Because there's one universal consciousness and everyone in this world can use their thoughts and their emotion and create. They can do it consciously and they can do it unconsciously. However, whenever you are double-minded, as I would have said before, you are unstable in all your ways. So the Tower of Babel is showing you a confused mind. A mind that is full of confusion. A mind that is filled with intellectualism and that has been trapped in the matrix of false identity, false education, religion, and politics. All of that constitute a tower of division. All of that constitute the destruction of the tower of Babel. So, what I'm saying in short is that you must vibrate on the energy of love. Because the energy of love is the only thing that can take you into that higher place of consciousness without any confusion, without any doubt, without any fear. For we live in a world where we use different terminology, different words, different languages. And they all have some different meaning to each and every one of us. But when we operate under the energy of love, is the energy of oneness. When we speak the law of consciousness, it is the universal language of humanity. And that is why we always have to look inwardly to discover that our real identity is our divinity. And that imagination creates reality for God and man is man's imagination. So man wanted to take his imagination and bring his imagination into the place of oneness with God. But many was trying to do it and many are still trying to do it from the materialistic outer side of existence. And that would all bring confusion. For right now, we are seeing in the earth there are those who want to take science and technology to a level where they believe that they can attain immortality. And there are those of us who are looking inwardly to understand our immortality. To know that we are spirit having a human experience. So there will always be the law of polarity. There will always be those who are seeking to discover God from the materialistic realm of just using thoughts and emotion and create on the outside. But the story in Genesis 11 is teaching us concerning the two portals. The portal that bring us into the realm of the physical and the one that takes us into the realm of the spiritual. So my brother and my sisters, that is why you have to understand that the Bible is psychological. And you have to realize that the kingdom of God is within man. Or you would live, live the rest of your life in confusion. So the Tower of Babel is just basically teaching you the law of polarity. Those who would use thoughts and emotion and will still end up 
in confusion. Those who use thoughts and emotion. Not just to create things on the outside. But to seek their higher self. Their true self. Their God self. So, let me end here by saying to you. Be of one mind. Vibrate on the energy of love. And be connected to your heavenly self, your God self, through meditation, visualization, affirmation, scripting, journaling, all these things. You must practice in your life and get in alignment with nature. And you know that as long as you walk that way, that you will be connected with the Creator. So every attempt to come to discover your higher self outside of accepting that the kingdom of God is within you, it will end in failure. It will end in confusion. It will end in a destructive way. So he's showing you there is a way to God. And that way to God is within, not on the outside. So the Tower of Babel is showing you those who focus their energy on the outside and try to be connected with the Creator from that angle, it will always create confusion. But those who will go inwardly and do that building, that constructing, those who will do it secretly, those are the ones who will discover that their real identity is their divinity. So with that being said, my brother, my sisters, and with the wind blowing so heavy, I want to come to a close, and I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me and what I'm saying, it makes sense to you, really resonating with you, and you have a subscriber already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, I would like to encourage you to follow me on Instagram, at BlackMadGuru, and also, if you would like, to know more about the inner sun science and technology or the inner sun engineering, you can check out my Patreon because this is the time that people need to be more connected with the inner sun science and technology because Bill Gates, they have their own science and technology to dim the sun or block the sun. And there are people who do not believe that it could be done, but I would have experienced that volcanic eruption that took place in my country and it blocked out the whole country. As a matter of fact, those who are living closest to the volcano, their day would have turned into night. So I know what I'm speaking about. So my brother, my sisters, also if you'd like to support by way of PayPal, we have a PayPal link and all of the links are down below so you can check out them in the description. So with all of that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.